Hi, it's Leslie, Married at First Sight, and it's decision day for Michael and Chloe for all the marbles of the whole freaking season, down to Michael and Chloe. And this was certainly encouraging. Well, we've evolved. Ooh, evolved. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you know, we, um, we're full-blown married now. All righty, then, a full-blown marriage. Things are looking up. So for all the times that Chloe climbed into bed naked, Michael decided to do something about it, and they are often running into this lovely marriage of theirs. But hold up. We're just in this really mysterious place. Hmm. Last night I wake up to Michael saying that he feels that he was not built for marriage. Say what? Not built for marriage? Wait a second, Michael. After the girl left you at the altar, remember you were like, now I know more than ever that how much I want marriage and I'm ready for marriage? What happened to that? We don't forget that shit. Seems like within two weeks, it went from um, happening stuff to in the crapper. And then here's almost the kiss of death when they start with this. Yeah, I mean, there obviously have been challenging moments that we've encountered, but regardless of how challenging those moments have gotten, I am very thankful that I got to face those challenges with Chloe. Cause the niceties. That's never good. The niceties. Oof. I feel like I've found a partner who's always thinking and he's always feeling and he's always willing, willing to talk about it. I oh, they're both so polite and courteous to each other, building each other up. But the harsh reality is this, as we're starting to learn. I don't have a clear answer at this point in time of whether I'm going to say yes or no. Oh, good God. Anyway, I guess this is not lost on Chloe that um, things are a little uh, sketch in their in their marriage right now. So she pulls out all the stops, tries to have a romantic dinner, I guess. to. I'm assuming things have stopped in the bedroom. That's the stuff I would love to know. And that's kind of a clue, you know. But um, she tries to get it back on track and get a romantic thing going uh, with a little dinner and rendezvous thing. Uh, I don't know if it worked, though. But just as a little aside, because there's really not a lot else for me to just latch into in this episode. Michael's sporting a new do. It's like, um, instead of his swooped over curly deal on the side, he has done a berate up the middle and down back. Just FYI. Mixing it up, mixing it up. But Michael at least has conversations with Chloe that, you know, who, who knows what's gonna happen. Who You know, I'm not deciding until that day, so who knows? But. So there are a lot of things that if we do decide to continue on with this marriage, I think there are a lot of things we can lean on um, and continue to enjoy and even make better. Okay. Yeah. Chloe did not um, look like she was feeling that and starting to see the writing on the wall. Anyway, all the experts are in there anxious to see if they can actually pull one out this season, you know. And Dr. Pepper, of course, has, you know, the same question that we all have now. What about him? has made him unready now. I don't know. Yeah, because he was ready. Um, I'm just going to take a stab at it, uh, Dr. Pepper there. I'm thinking five foster kids at a time. I'm thinking animal sanctuary. I'm thinking all of that has made him go like, whoa, this is, this is a lot. That's my thoughts of what's made him a little, you know, gun shy on the whole situation. But the wait is over. It's decision day. And of course, in comes Michael. And the big question that I had um, is not what you're thinking. But it's, what is he wearing? Are those shorts? Is that a skirt? Is it a skirt? I could not tell, but you know what? I thought he looked fine. I mean, maybe I'm getting used to it. He looked fine. Um, I just wanted to know what exactly that was, because at one point I thought it was just shorts, but then I'm thinking, no, it's a skirt. I don't know, but anyway. And then they start talking, you know? I think the, all the experts are really optimistic, and then Chloe started talking, and I guess she was a little iffy or whatever. Um, but now they're all starting to realize Chloe has her doubts. So Dr. Pepper jumps in, you know, if you got something to fight for, now's the time to fight for it. Because she's starting to see the writing on the wall here. They're all starting to be like, oh, oh, it's all hands on deck. Pastor Kyle jumps in, you know, with this little trying to spin it. It's, it's the, the paralysis of analysis. <laughs> you know, you know it, it, it's, it's like you, you think yourself out of a thing. Yeah. Don't want to think yourself out of it. You know, you're so close. And then Chloe gives her decision. I'm feeling really differently than I anticipated feeling. And I think I want to see if we have more story to tell. So 
I want to keep going. You know, when she said that Michael looked so happy, he's sitting there and he just like smiled like, oh, like it almost looked like he was really happy to hear that. I mean, I guess it's a compliment, you know, having been ditched at the altar. I mean, whatever, but he looked happy to hear that. And of course they pan over to Dr. P and she just looks like, oh my God, we did it. We pulled it out. Getting all confident over there, Dr. P. Yeah. Not so fast. And then Michael speaks. I feel that I, I have to lean to what my compass has been and that's just how I feel about the ability to develop and work on a marriage and I just don't feel that I can do that oh. you are a good man wow <laughs> Chloe you're a good man yep he's a good man and then the dreaded Goodbye, hug and kiss. Uh. <laughs> yep, and that's a wrap on the last couple. I was actually surprised. Um, I don't know why I was, but I was surprised. I thought Michael was gonna, like I didn't really understand, you're already married. You can just say, you can get married, you can get divorced in a week. All you have to decide is, do you wanna keep going till tomorrow? Like they make it like such a big deal about like, you're already married. You can get divorced in three weeks. It doesn't matter. Three weeks, four weeks, tomorrow, today, whatever. But anyway, um, but they at least may be the first couple that are still on speaking terms in this whole crew because I don't think anybody else is on speaking terms. So at least Michael and Chloe, as of now, as of now, because we don't know, um, they're still on speaking terms. They seem like they're going to remain friendly. But reflecting back, this, um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe is the most unsuccessful season ever. Not only did they have a failure at the altar, they brought him back and it was another bust. A total, total bust of a season. They need new experts because the experts suck. I mean, that's the ongoing theme every season the, the, that the experts suck. But anyway, I follow this nonsense every week. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. It's now down to where we get the dirt, and it's it's those after parties, it's those those recaps after the season where you start, all the dirt starts flinging, you know, because there's a lot of dirt going behind the scenes. They say they don't communicate much, you know, but I tell you, they communicate a lot, it seems like. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye.